Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. So apologies, I haven't done a podcast for a few weeks, had a bit of a croaky throat, the sort of thing that you get in England at this time of the year, but I'm back and I've got loads of questions that you've sent through that I need to answer. Well, many of you have sent through questions and they're really good ones. So keep them coming. They're really great because as I always say, this is for you. So uh, this week was about YouTube. I'm gonna answer that in a moment, but someone I know had a bit of a problem with their laptop. They had a drink and they've spilt it all over their laptop. So the thing that I want to point out is, it seems pretty obvious, but keep things like liquids drinks away from your laptop. If you do happen to have drinks nearby, or if you've got people sitting with you and they've got drinks nearby, try and keep them at a sort of safe distance so that it's not gonna go directly onto the laptop itself. So what I mean by that is that if it does spill like that, and even with a bit of a knock and it slides across, the liquid's kind of gonna go underneath. That doesn't mean to say nothing will happen by all means, but pick it up straight away. But it's better than it going straight over the top where you're heading for disaster, which is what this person has had. So be careful with your equipment. We all forget to do these things. Make sure it's sort of like not in a position where you're gonna knock it as well. I feel really sorry for this person. I really do hope that they get their data back and that their hard drive is actually okay. So I'm just gonna move that away. There's actually clearly nothing in it. But the thing that I do want to answer this week is something about YouTube. Now I put a video on YouTube, it's my nephew, and this is it, him sliding down some stairs here. And it's a really cute, funny video. Go and check it out if you want, just search for it. You can see the title on there. However, the thing that I do want to talk about, what someone asked me is what if I didn't want to share that with the whole world? What if I wanted to make that video a little bit private or just people I know watching it. Well, you can do that on YouTube. It's not necessary just for sharing with everyone. So your options are, is one, you can make it accessible to everybody. Two, make it accessible to people that you send the link through. It doesn't mean to say that people won't necessarily find it, but it makes it a little bit more secure. And the other option is to make it so that only people you send it to can see it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. And also I'm gonna show you how to set up a YouTube account. So the first thing we need to do is go to www.youtube.com and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an account. So I'm just gonna go over here to the top right, choose create account. And what I need to do is put in an email address here. So I'm gonna put in info at jargonfreehelp.com. I'm gonna give it a username. So let me put in jargonfree, what am I doing? Let me put in here jargon free films and then I'm just going to put in my and it says the username is available if it was something that maybe wasn't available and let me just change it to say Gazman it would come up here I just need to click on check availability and it will give me some other options but I'm going to go with the jargon free films which is a good name and check availability choose the country obviously I'm in the United Kingdom so I'm just going to select that and I'm just gonna put in my postcode here as well. Date of birth, and obviously I've got this all masked out because obviously I don't want to give away too much identity information and you'll have seen videos that I've done on that in the past. So all being very cautious here. So let me just get my right year. Um, don't want others to find me on YouTube. If I don't, then I could untick that. Don't want to receive material. Maybe I do. I'm going to say no, and I can click on accept. And that's my... And when I go to the next screen, what it needs to do is set up a Google account to go with that. If you've already got a Google Mail account, it will want you to link them together. Google owns YouTube, which is why they want to do this. And I'm just going to put in a password here and naturally you should choose one that is secure. I'm not going to enable my web history. I don't want people to remember where I've been and I'm just going to put in this capture here. You've probably seen these all over the place and what they do is quite simply they are used to stop automated systems setting up accounts and these things called a capture prevent that. If you can't see the letters there, have a go. And if it's not correct, it'll prompt you with a different one that might be easier to read. So I create my account and now I'm ready. There you go. Jargon free films. What I can do now is go to click on upload. Okay, so I can now upload a video. I can share them on Facebook, Twitter, 
reader or cut my space all automatically when I add on a video it will automatically tell my Facebook friends or my Twitter feed that I've added something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on upload video I'm going to choose something along here which I know I've already got and many formats do work on this this is the one I want. Click on open and it's starting the upload should go fairly quickly I'm going to give it a name YouTube and VLC. I can fill in a description here and I can also put in some tags. So if you're looking for something where someone will search for you, it's really important to get all this information right. Think about what somebody might be looking for if they're searching for you. So I'm going to come down to here, I'm going to select a category, how to and style. So at the moment, by default, by looking here, it's set so that anybody can search for this and they'll search for something and based on the title description or the tags that I put in, this video might come up. So if I don't want everyone to see it, what I can choose is unlisted. And that way what I do is I send people the link to see it and it doesn't stop them from passing it on so that other people can see it as well. But it's now giving you a bit of privacy. And hopefully if you do put something out there, not everyone is going to be sharing it around. However, if you want to make it private, you can choose this and what you can do is you can make sure that people who you want to see it have got YouTube accounts. You've seen how easy it is to set one up and what you can do then is actually put in their usernames so that only they can see it. They have to log in to see it and that's actually probably a really good one, particularly if it's sensitive and you just want certain people to see it. However, this one here, the unlisted one, I have to say that can also be very good and that does give you a degree of safety in the sense that people need to know the link to find it. Once you're done, and this is still uploading here, I hit save changes and then what I can do is when I go to my videos here, click on OK, hopefully my video is uploading there, I choose edit and I can see down here that I've chosen, I'm going to choose private. You'll see if I choose unlisted, it gives me the link right there and I can just copy and paste it. I just simply highlight it and then I copy and paste. Okay, so I can do that. If I choose private, I type in who I want to send it to. You can put in up to 50 people. So if I know their usernames, I can actually start putting them in here. I know that there are some and they get a little message telling them. So each one I separate by just putting in a little comma in there and well I do get a list of people who are my subscribers. I could choose them or I could actually choose or I can just keep on typing which is just fantastic. You can put a message like this video is very useful, send whatever message you like, click on send and off it goes. It sends it to those people, they get it through their email, they get a link, they are the only people that can use it and they can only use it when they log in. So I'm still waiting for all of mine to upload. As soon as it's ready, that video will be out there to watch. So there you go, you can easily set up a YouTube account and send those videos out only to people who you want to see them. On the other hand, you might want to share them with the whole world. So that's YouTube. I'm going to be covering a bit more about YouTube in the future. Video seems to be the very popular thing on the internet and I guess you're interested in it because you're actually watching this podcast so you're already watching videos out there. Maybe you want to make your own. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget these videos are for you so please do keep sending me the questions and I will keep asking them. Don't forget jargon-free help is more than just technology. Thanks for watching and see you next week.